Hey guys, so as you'll see from the title of this video, this is going to be my most worn Summer Edition 2012 tag video. So I actually saw that Ingrid had done this video a few days ago and it seemed like a really good idea for a video, so um, I'm just going to jump straight into it. So the first category is nail polish. Um, the nail polishes I've been tending to go for this summer at least has been more kind of corally toned colours. So um, what I have on my nails at the moment, which I don't really want to show you because my nails are chipping horrendously and I really need to repaint them, but it's actually this colour by Rimmel. It's called Rose Libertine, which is kind of a corally pink colour, which is really gorgeous. I love this colour. I think I've talked about this before, about how it's bright but it's still kind of muted and it's just a really really nice colour for the summer so that's that one another one that I've been wearing a lot recently is another Rimmel nail polish of course and it is called Sunrise which is more of a corally orange colour so I've really been loving this one as well and the third nail polish I have to show you I think I've mentioned I think I've mentioned all three of these in a video um, anyway, it's my um, number 17 fast finish nail polish in Cosmic Heather, which I know I've mentioned in a couple of my recent videos. It's really gorgeous polish to layer over the top of other colours, and it just kind of adds like a bronze shimmer, which I think is so pretty for the, su for the summertime. The next is hair product. So mine is going to be this Herbal Essence um, Tussle Me Softly Finishing Cream, which, as you can see, it looks like I haven't used hardly any of it but you really need such a small amount. And what I like to use this for is when I'm wearing my hair wavy. So after I've um, washed my hair, I'll get out, towel dry it, and then I'll put a little bit of this in my hair and then I'll braid it and go to sleep. And then the next morning, it kind of dries overnight. And then when I wake up the next morning and I take the braids out, I'm left with really nice kind of loose waves, which looks really pretty. And I've really been loving that for summer, especially to try and keep the heat off of my hair. So um, this product just kind of helps to give me a bit more wave and just keep it in place and hold it all day. So I've really been loving using this recently. The next is your most warm bag. And mine, of course, is my River Island bag that I picked up a couple of months, I think maybe a couple of months ago, it might have only been a month ago, but I love this bag to death. It's kind of getting a little bit beaten up now. It's got some stains on the front and it's kind of wearing at the back. I don't know if you can see that. Well, obviously it rubs against my body whilst I'm walking. But um, I really love this bag, it's gorgeous. I know it doesn't go with everything, but I kind of wear it with everything because I just love it so much. It's my most worn bag. The next category is shoes, and the shoes I have to show you aren't really summery shoes. Um, a lot of these other videos in the shoes categories, people have been showing flip-flops and sandals and things like that. Mine are these grey suede kind of like boots kind of like ankle boots, shoes kind of thing. I don't really know what you call them. I guess they're shoes. They're like ankle boot kind of shoes. Anyway, so um, yeah, but these are the ones that I've been wearing a lot recently and they are just so gorgeous. I love them so much. I get so many compliments when I wear these as well. Everybody's really interested in these shoes. Um, and they're actually from New Look. I think they're like £25. So they were a bargain as well. So um, yeah, these are the shoes that I've been loving recently and the ones I've been wearing the most recently as well. For accessories, my most worn accessories, I think, are going to have to be my Pandora rings. So, that's what these look like. Again, excuse my nail polish. So, I think I've shown you this rose one in my birthday haul, but I didn't have this other one at the time. So, it's just got these little flowers all the way around it. And it's just really pretty, and I love them together. I just think they look so pretty. And, yes, yeah, so these are my most worn accessories. My most worn clothing for the summer is going to have to be something kind of basic, and it is... Just plain tank tops, but ones that have a little bit of lace around the edges because I just think it dresses it up just a little bit, just adds a little bit of extra feminine touch and yeah, I just think they're really pretty, they're really easy, obviously they're light for summer, um, I like layering them underneath like thin cardigans and things like that, or underneath kind of lower cut t-shirts, so obviously the one that I'm wearing is quite low cut, so I've just got one underneath with a little bit of lace and this one's actually got a little bit of lace trim at the bottom. It's, the one that I hauled most recently, um, the one from Hollister with the little lace at the bottom. Um, yeah, so I really love these kind of just plain tank tops with just a little bit of lace type detailing around the edges. I just think they're really pretty and feminine and perfect for summer. Okay, on to more of the makeup items. So the first category is foundation. I don't actually wear foundation. I haven't worn foundation for a few years now. I um, tend to prefer tinted moisturisers. So the one that I've got that I've been using up um, at the moment is the Boots Number no. 7 Dual Protection Tinted Moisturiser in Fair, um, which 
I don't know if it's really the best into moisturiser, but it's the only one that I've ever really tried other than the Garnier BB cream, which I think that BB cream is more of a tinted moisturiser than a BB cream anyway, but um, yeah, this is kind of the first tinted moisturiser I ever tried, and um, yeah, it's okay, I like it, I'm just trying to use it up for Project Pan at the moment, so that's why that's in this, and why it's my most worn. Blush and bronzer are the next category, so um, mine are both actually from e.l.f. The bronzer that I've been using, and I think I've had this in a favourites video or something recently, um, is this bronzer here from the Blush and Bronzing Powder Contouring Kit. So I've been using this, and what I like to use this for, I've been using it more as a contour than an all over bronzer, but what I like to do is take a big fluffy brush like this one from Sigma, this is the F30, and just kind of go in the contour kind of areas, but if you use a bigger fluffy brush, you don't have to worry so much about blending it out, it's not quite so harsh, it's not a really defined contour, it's just, it kind of bronzes up my face a little bit, it just adds a little bit of definition, so I really love using those, and I've been wearing that a lot recently, pretty much every day to be honest. And then another thing that I've been wearing a lot over the summer, um, I've finished up one of my blushes that I was trying to use up for Project Pan, so I've now moved on to another one. And this is Elf's Studio Blush in Candid Coral, which I've mentioned so much. This is a firm favourite of mine. Um, I will be repurchasing this when I run out of it because it is so, so gorgeous. I really, really love this. And it's just perfect. It gives my skin a really glowy look. It's really, really simple to apply. Um, it doesn't go on too heavy. So it's really easy to blend out. And what I also like doing, if I haven't got a lot of time to use a more precise um, blush brush, I like to use this e.l.f. complexion brush, which is a little bit larger. If I compare it to the Sigma one, you'll see it's, it's smaller than the Sigma one. But it's obviously a lot larger than a normal blush brush. And using this just makes it so easy. I will just get the product and kind of just swipe my brush in it and then just sweep it over my cheeks, which is what I've done today. You probably can't tell on the camera because the lighting's not fantastic. But um, it just makes it so easy. I can literally just sweep it on my cheeks like this and it just gives me the perfect coverage, perfect colour, perfect pigmentation. It blends out really nicely. It gives me a really nice glow, a little bit of flush to my cheeks. That looks really natural and healthy. So this is my perfect blush for the summertime. My favourite lip product for the summer is Max Tender Tone in Hush Hush, which looks like this. It's a gorgeous bronzy colour, so it adds a little bit of bronze to your lips, a little bit of shine. It has SPF in it as well. It has SPF 12, so it protects your lips from the sun. So I think this is the perfect um, product for the summertime and definitely one that I wore definitely one that I wear a lot. Um, what are we up to? Mascara. I think you guys can probably guess what my most worn mascara is at the moment. It's the L'Oreal Extra Volume Collagen Mascara. In love with this. I think they've come out with a new one that's like Mega Volume Collagen Mascara, which I do want to try once I am able to buy more makeup, but um, that's what the wand looks like. So that is my most worn mascara. And finally, is my most worn eyeshadows and they would have to be two from NYX which is this one here which is called Silk or well on the website it's called Champagne but this is what they sent me and I've been assured that it is the same thing it looks exactly the same but the label says it's called Silk so that's that one which is kind of like a peachy shade and which I like to use all over my lid and then in the crease I like to use this kind of chocolatey brown colour here which is called Dark Brown which is absolutely gorgeous. I've been wearing this pretty much every single day recently. Um, it's what I'm wearing today. So they are the products and items that I've been wearing and using the most over the summer. If you guys have done this video, please leave it as a video response, or if you haven't, or if you can't make videos for whatever reason, please leave it, your answers in the comments. Um, I'll leave the list of the categories in the information box below, along with all of my links. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Oh, I really feel like I'm going to sneeze. Ben's about to walk in.